side if we if we start on the side first and, and really you guys to learn all these muscles so you on the day of the test you get a hundred percent every day you break out your mink you should go over the muscles you already know so what's that one that we cut and the one that is mangled a B D abductor chorus caudalis caudal means tail so it's going up by the tail and I'm just going to go here since I'm here. What's the calf called again? Gastrocnemius. Good. Okay, so once you've moved that out of the way and you've got the tensor fasciolata out of the way for the most part, did you guys get in there? Almost in there. So I'm just going to force my way in there again. And so you need the glute. So the outer glute is called the what? Gluteus maximus. Gluteus maximus. The middle one is called the? Medius. Medius. And the smallest one is called the? Gluteus Boy, this is a smaller mink. It's a little harder to see this. Okay, so there's your three glutes. So if, if uh, Stav asks you to show them, you're going to have to go to that spot, open it up, and make sure you find the right one. Okay? Underneath here, again, you've got a part of the semimembranosis. And uh, you guys have totally ma uh, manipulated and completely lost your abductor chorus caudalis. It is gone. You can see where it was attached to the bone. And you can see on the underside where it should have been separated right there. You see that spot? Mm -hmm. But it, it, you did not do that. So um, I don't know what that is. Was that a five-point penalty? What did you decide? 50,000-point penalty? Yeah, you know, just, just Automatic have fail? Grade. Just have their grade. <laughs> okay, good thing they're not mink doctors. Okay, so as we, as we break this, the quads into how many muscles? Why is it called a quad? Three. Four. Four insertions. Oh. And there's three muscles there. There's got to be another one that I'm just not thinking of. Okay, so this one hasn't been split open yet either, so I'm going to flip him over. And I need to get into that gap again. And then I need to put the scissor edge on that, otherwise it'll tear and look cruddy. And I'm separating the vastus what? From the, from the rectus femoris. Usually once that starts, you can just kind of force your finger into it and it'll separate up all the way. So that's separated nicely. Then you've got the vastus, I'm sorry, vastus medialis and rectus femoris, vastus lateralis. Am I going too fast? No. Okay, if you guys ask a question, please do stop me. And I'll tell you what, I'll try to come in Friday too. I'll just try to, what's today? Wednesday? Saturday, on Friday, six period after lunch, I should be able to come in because I'm not in a meeting. So what's that muscle right there? You guys have it separated really nice also. The first one, it's not on the diagram. I would just write pectineus, but I would write it above adductor longus so they just go in an order. And so you got the pectineus, the adductor longus, and you guys haven't separated out a... Boy, and this muscle's not coming apart anyway. So do you guys see, uh, you've got to look for some kind of logical separation. And if I were to pick this one, it's going to look a lot different than what it looked like on the last mink. And it's not so much, remember I said this muscle will just kind of come apart in a bunch of different areas. Just find an area. It might not be the exact spot. When you get to med school, they'll hold you to a higher standard than anatomy in high school, I'm sure. And there's your, what's that called then? That I just separated? Magnus Adductor magnus brevis. What that means is two muscles kind of fuse together, and if I pull on it, you can kind of see another line right up there, probably the brevis right there. And I just keep them together. The next muscle is all semimembranosus. And then the two that I didn't talk about, the sartorius and the gracilis. And um, the tibialis anterior, I'm going to let you guys find it, okay? Perfect.